All right, I'm gonna do my best to keep this as short as possible and pack as much information in here as possible. This is a 2008 Bad Boy Buggy model BBAM S4 uh, 2006. So uh, I bought it from a friend who didn't know much about electrical stuff or this in general. He bought it from an older man and that took pretty good care of it. It's in real good shape. Uh, the story that I've received is that he put it away working and when he brought it out in the summer it did not work. So um, here's what I've diagnosed out of it. Maybe um, you guys can take this information and point me in the right way. I've got quite a bit of information. It's just not getting me anywhere. Um, so I turned the key. I do not hear the solenoid click. Um, the dash, um, the little gas meter over there, or oh, that's another thing. This is four by four and all electric, no gas. And I meant the uh, electric meter works. Forty-eight volts. Um, the headlights do not work. The cigarette lighter does not work. I tested all the batteries individually with this uh, tester right there. They're all good. Um, I got 50 volts coming out of the main negative, main positive. I got 50 volts going from B plus to B minus on the controller. Um, the back of the charging port. I have 50 volts going to that. Okay, so this is the the pedal right here, and I unplugged it. This goes to the pedal. When I press the pedal, I can hear the pedal clicking. That's not the solenoid, but the pedal. And I stuck an ohm meter on the red and yellow wires. Those were the only two connections that I got to give me a reading when I hit the pedal. So it's giving some type of feedback. I don't know what it means exactly. I've tested all the switches. So there's a brake switch, which I don't really understand what that is. Four wheel drive, auto, ignition. And then I'm not sure what that blue light is. I think that might be forward or reverse because I can't find what that where that's at. And then that meter, <clears throat> they all appear to work. Um, as far as the solenoids go, um, I took my voltmeter on continuity and went from that rusty screw to, to this one. And uh, eventually, after wiggling around, I did get continuity. Um, from there, actually I want to go back before I get too carried away with that. So. Eventually, I pulled this out and I found these two connectors here. And these relays were connected to them. I got an ohms reading on one, but not the other. So that told me to go find some new ones. I did. Actually, I tested both of these by putting 12 volts to them and they were both bad. I got this like generic one from AutoZone that seemed to have the same numbers on the bottom. Um, when I gave them the cross-reference number to this, <clears throat> they gave me a part. It was like $39 and they had it up at the counter, but they only had one. So the kid went back there and found these. And actually all the little numbers on the bottom, the the 85, 86, the 30, all that stuff on the bottom, everything matched. So I brought them back and I plugged them both in. And then uh, I turned on the key and all of a sudden my headlights worked and I had a cigarette lighter work. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. But then I turned the key on and off, on and off about six times and I was playing with this and I was hitting the pedal and stuff. And basically, I kind of saw a little bit of smoke rolling out of one of these. And all of a sudden, I have no headlights again and no cigarette lighter. And I pulled them out, tested. One is not working. One is still working. I should have 
figured out which one was which. Uh, they were extremely hot for quite some time. So that was strange. I don't know what would cause that. But I'm getting somewhere now with that. Okay, so I'll go back over to here where I was at. Um, okay, so I'm back to the solenoid. I'm on the driver's side. So I got continuity from here to here. <clears throat> then uh, the next thing I checked was with the key on or off when I went from the main negative with my voltmeter to this bottom lug or this bottom lug, I would have 50 volts at it. Um, with the key off again from the main negative to the top lug, I'd have 18 volts. And with the key on, I'd have 25 volts. That was the case on this side and this side and over there actually on the reverse. Um, let's see what else I got. With the key off on the top to bottom lug, so from here to here with the key off, uh, it was 31.7 volts. With the key on, it was 25 volts. Okay, and then if we go over here, I've learned that, so down in here is like two more solenoids. Can't really get a good view. There we go. Two more solenoids, and I found out that those are for like the reverse. It switches the polarity so I can go backwards. And let's see what information I got. Um, with the key on, F to the main ground. So F is, let's see if I can get a better light going here. Okay, F is the one, so here's the first solenoid facing this way, here's the second one facing this way, this is jump to this one, F is way down here on the bottom of the far one, and F on the controller is here. So from F to the main ground, with the key on, I had 35.2. And same thing with the key off, I had 18 volts. Um, all the other stuff, you know, I checked continuity here and there with those little screws like I did in the first one. Everything else pretty much read the same as over there. Um, I don't know if I'm missing any other fuses or I pretty much, I've showed you everything that I found and could look for and test. Um, so I don't know if there's other fuses I'm missing. I don't see a toe switch. I'm assuming this blue is the reverse switch. And I did not mention that when I did have these relays and the headlights were working, I still had no solenoid, no pedal. Uh, you know, the cart didn't move. This blue light did not light up. The only thing these changed was the headlight in my uh, charger port or my cigarette port. Um, so I'm hoping that's the reverse. I don't know. My controller is a Navitas D is in dog, S is in Sam, E is in elephant, 1000 dash, H is in Harry, F is in Frank, 2. So D S E 1000 dash H F 2. Again, it's a 2006 bad boy cart. BBAMS4 4 x 4, four all-electric. Um, that's about it, really. I can't... Uh, I have not tested the motors yet. I have no idea how to test the controller. I don't know if there's a better way to test the uh, throttle or the pedal. I included with the sale, they did give me this, so they said that was some kind of a part to the pedal that had been replaced in the past. So 
I'm not sure exactly how you would test this or how to get to it or anything, but basically what's left is the two motors, that pedal, the controller, and I'm not exactly sure if I how to test the solenoids. I've watched some YouTube videos, but these ones seem different and I'm kind of afraid to ruin something. So if anyone can help me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm kind of uh, done as much as I can think of. Thank you.